Now you may have been in this situation before, you got a nice oak tree and then one day after a lot of rain, you wake up and discover that you have oak root fungus. And if you look it up, you're gonna find there's pretty much no way to kill it. Well, there is one way and that's fire. So here is fire. Now, by the way, um, you gotta be careful around this because there is leaf litter here. Leaf litter will burn. Now, I'm not gonna scrape it up and take it somewhere else because I don't wanna spread the fungus itself. So I have to be very, very careful with this. I do also have a bucket of water here just in case, you know, but I don't wanna use that unless I have to because, for one thing, I don't want to get this area wet. I want this fungus dead, and I don't want to provide more moisture, which is what the fungus wants. So what I'm doing is very slowly and very carefully, I am killing the fungus. Yep, so okay, so that's picking up a little bit. Let it go out. All right. Okay, well, I guess I had to use it. Yeah, the wind might be a little stronger than I would like to you have, but I don't want to leave this another week. Basically, when you see oak root fungus, you need to kill it immediately before it can spread. So, by the way, I am going to this is, this is going to be a scorcher's policy. Um, the tree is actually fairly resistant to heat, but the fungus is not. And I have done this before. This used to actually be on both sides of the tree. Um, I hit it with fire, and then I didn't see anything from it for a few years. And I was beginning to think I'd actually completely finished it, but um, we had a number of weeks with heavy rain. But fortunately, this time it's only come back on one side. So, anyway, continue to approach here. Okay, that's. burning a little bit more than I want. So the idea is the fire kills the fungus. And you're, I'm not just gonna burn the part that's above ground here. I'm actually gonna burn a lot of the stuff that's right around it. And the idea is you wanna kill it in the ground. You don't just want to kill it, okay? Now, by the way, you gotta be very, very, very careful Make sure that you don't get much bigger than that. And again, I'm being very sparing. I have a five gallon bucket I can dump, you know, I can extinguish this in a second, but the idea is for the heat to get in there. And basically these mushrooms are gonna be cooked and that's gonna kill them. Because think about oak root, the fungicides you buy at the store aren't gonna do it. You need to physically kill it. And you best not wait. I discovered this this morning. I had to go to work. I came back this afternoon and I have every intention of killing this. I will not let this go until tomorrow morning. See it, kill it, don't let it come back and kill your oak tree because this oak tree has been very healthy. Um, now, by the way, I had another tree in the front yard, which the oak root fungus completely killed. I did not try this out there because there was a buried gas line and tree roots might break or cause leaks in the gas line. And you just don't want to take that chance. In fact, I would normally not even do it in the wind as high as this. This is, I'm just, you gotta be careful with fire. But yeah, the fungus will not tolerate this. And by the way, you notice I'm using a plumbing, um, the plumber's torch. This is just so I can keep it very concentrated, keep the fire under control, because again, I don't want to move the leaf litter because I don't want to spread this fungus. I want it dead, not spread. So yeah, and I will really go through this area. Oops. Okay, is that going down? Is it going up? Okay, that's better. Yeah, I mean, 
I don't want to add water here, but I don't, you know, the most important thing is not having this place catch fire. You know, ideally, you know, the way you prevent this is you don't water your oak tree. If you've got a lawn around the oak tree, remove the lawn. Um, if you've got sprinklers around the oak tree, remove the sprinklers. Oak trees don't need irrigation. You know, what likes irrigation is fungus. So, anyway, I will come back to this in a little bit and show you the next step. Okay, so see you in the next shot. Now, I spent about 20 minutes burning this last night. I stopped the filming after about five. One thing I wanted to show you, which I didn't think about, was that when the mushrooms start dying, they will wilt and fall over. You do have to hit them at the bottom. You don't just hit them at the top. And, you know, because they, the fungus itself is in the soil, and that's where it's doing the greatest damage. Now, these are been hit pretty hard. I'm going to remove them. Now, by the way, you need to treat these as though they were incredibly dangerous. Remove them, put them in plastic, put them in the trash. Don't try to compost them or anything like that. Take a little soil if you have to. But do not move anything from this area out into any other part of the yard. Just take, um, just take it, put it in the trash. You can see a bit where it was getting into the tree. But you'll also notice the tree, the bark has not really been damaged by the fire. And the tree is still pretty darn healthy. And we'll come back to this tree in a few months just to make sure it stays healthy. But taking out that soil, a little bit of soil, stuff like that. And I'm actually going to start up again. The reason I didn't burn more of the soil last time was simply because it got a little too windy. And when it's windy, you have increased risk of causing a fire because you don't want to burn your house down. You just want to kill this fungus. So anyway, um, I'm gonna take my torch. Always make sure you have water, like right nearby. Oh, by the way, one other thing about this um, shovel, you can, you don't wanna use it on any other part of the, gar uh, the garden until after it's been sterilized. Um, this is one way you can do it. I actually usually, just take a kettle full of hot water, boiling water, and pour over it, but either way works. Just to make sure that there isn't any kind of spores or something clinging to the shovel, which could then be transported to other parts of the yard. So make sure if you stuck a tool into the ground where there's oak root fungus, you have sterilized that tool and won't be carrying oak root fungus to any other part of your yard. Um, personally, I actually prefer the boiling water method, but anyway, to each their own. And yeah, I'm gonna get in here, just get around the soil, make sure we get as much of that oak root fungus as we can. So, yeah, and again, the tree, if you notice, the tree is more or less fine, but we will come back to it later. Yeah, oak, tree, oak trees are able to take a bit of fire. But anyway, just a little extra measure to make sure there's nothing hiding in that soil. So anyway, I'll see you in the next frame, wherever that is. Okay, so I have burned the fungus. Um, don't just burn the, the mushroom caps themselves, but burn the ground, even where you, you, know, you don't see the fungus. Um, by the way, when you're killing the fungus at the base, the mushroom caps wilt. But at this point, they've been killed. Um, any soil has been excavated in case there is still some fungus in the ground. But just to be doubly, 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 doubly safe, I'm going to apply a little bit of this. And this is sulfur. It is necessary for all life. It's something you can use as a fertilizer for plants. Um, but one of the things about 
fungus is fungus doesn't like a lot of sulfur. In fact, pretty much anything in that one column of the periodic table, funguses don't like. So, you know, they don't like a lot of oxygen. They don't like a lot of sulfur. They don't like a lot of selenium. Um, so I'm adding some sulfur and I'm also adding a fungicide. This is Cooper sulfide. And now, by the way, you may remember at the beginning of the video, I said that you can't kill oak root fungus with chemicals. This won't kill it. But if it is still alive, what this will do is simply make it a little more unpleasant for it and hopefully slow the rate at which it can come back. One thing to point out and one thing to mention here, um, you can use copper or uh, you can use sulfur, you know, a lot. It is a fertilizer. Um, you can use cooper sulfide. It's safe for using even on produce. But the one thing I will tell you is once you put sulfur on your, you know, on the tree and where the oak root fungus was, you cannot go back and apply more fire. And the reason why is sulfur will basically make anything burn a lot more easily. So you don't want to come back afterwards and try applying fire again because it could be pretty darn bad. So only do this when you're pretty darn sure that you don't need to apply the torch anymore. Um, it's just a way of, you know, after the fact, protecting the tree from a return of oak root fungus. Again, you can't kill oak root fungus with chemicals. This just simply makes it a little more difficult for the fungus to come back. But if it's there, inevitably it will come back and you'll do the torch thing again, you know, in a few years. At that point, the sulfur should be um, diminished enough where it won't cause any flammable flammability issues. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed these videos and I'll, I'll probably come back to this tree in a few months just to see if the oak root fungus came back. So have a nice day. Now, this has been one of the wet, wettest winters in California history. Um, you can see the soil is still very wet, but what you can also see is there is no sign of that oak root fungus. It is gone. And if it was still alive, you would expect it to come out with all this rain we've been getting, but there is no sign of it anywhere. It is dead. Now, when I first noticed the oak root fungus, it had already gone completely around the tree. I did the fire treatment and a while back, it came back partially around the tree. Part of the tree was free and part of the tree was not. And that's when I think I filmed the last clip and there was actually a third little treatment with fire. There was a little tiny patch that I'd somehow had missed. And so I hit it with the torch just to get that last little patch only a few inches across. But, don't know what that is. Um, but that was months ago. And after all this rain, for months and months and months, the oak root fungus has not come back. I think I have finally eradicated it. So it is possible to eradicate oak root fungus. You can't do it with chemicals. Any kind of chemical harsh enough to get rid of that is gonna kill the tree. But you can do it with fire. And the tree, as you can see, is alive and healthy. It is a healthy, happy tree. It has not been harmed by the fire. It's doing great, it's green, and, whoops, and it is a happy tree. So, the fire has not harmed the tree, but it has killed off the oak root fungus. And so, if you have an infestation, um, it was completely around the tree. I, any arborist would have probably looked at that and said, nope, you, you know, that tree is dead, is gonna die, but, we managed to get rid of that fungus, and this tree is happy. If you have any questions, just put them in the comment box. I usually get to them, in, hopefully, quickly. 
um, and like and subscribe, all that other kind of stuff. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Bye-bye. And I hope you found it informative too. But bye-bye. It's time to go.